All right, guys, we're back for supply. Supply is gonna work just like demand only. It does work completely different. How about that? Okay, so we've got our supply curve right here and our supply curve can shift to the left, it can shift to the right. Remember, we don't wanna say supply goes up and supply goes down, because if we say that, we might put our curve in the wrong spot. So if our supply shifts to the right, our supply is risen. If we put our supply to the left, it goes like that, okay? And so what we're looking at here is what's gonna to happen to the supply in the market. We're not looking at individuals right now, we're looking at the market. So there's five things that are gonna shift our supply, just like there's five things that are gonna shift our demand. The first is the price of our resources. Let's say that you are running a trucking uh, company and the price of gasoline goes up. Or, or diesel or whatever you're using to, to, to move your truck to make it go vroom, vroom, vroom. Price of resources goes up, you're not gonna be able to send as many trucks out. You're not gonna be able to do as much as you used to. Technology is the next thing. Maybe you still run that trucking company, but now they have improved engines that they don't need as much gas and that's gonna be, allow you to, um, to do more with those trucks. Maybe buy some more trucks instead of, you're gonna be pushing that supply curve to the right. Next one, future expectations. Future expectations, hey, uh, I know that in a, in a few weeks, the Fed, uh, our Federal Reserve, is going to be lowering the interest rate. So I'm gonna put off buying more trucks from my, my um, place right now, I'm gonna produce less, because I know in a few weeks, it's going to be cheaper for me to buy them and to push in my industry. So my future expectations, I'm gonna make less now, so I'm gonna be able to make more soon cheaper. Uh, Government interactions. Remember, there's two ways that the government can interact with us to shift our supply curve, and that would be to add subsidies. It means the government's gonna be giving you money to produce your product. <laughs> That's gonna make our supply go up, or the government's gonna tax you. Their tax is gonna shift it in that direction. And our final one is the number of sellers, and again, just like in demand, if we've got more people making it, we're gonna have more. If we have less people making it, we're gonna have less. It's as simple as that. Remember which way we're shifting things. And the other thing to remember is a price still doesn't shift the curve. If we go from $1 to $3, all we're doing is we're riding this curve from here up to there, right on up, it doesn't shift the curve. So that's what we're looking at for supply, super easy, demand supply, you got this.